Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, we come this morning to say thank you. Once more and again, God, we come to lift you up, to give you glory, to give you honor, and to give you praise, God. We acknowledge your sovereignty in the earth realm, God. We ask you right now, God, to come in the room and have your way, God. We yield our vessels to you right now, God. We ask you to have your way. We come this morning, God, pulling down every stronghold of the enemy, God. Casting down every high thing that have exalted, exalted itself against the knowledge of Jesus Christ. We ask you to bring every thought captive into the obedience of Jesus Christ. We come this morning, God, to say thank you, God. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for being closed in our right mind. Thank you for having the activities of our limbs, God. We ask this morning, God, those that are listening by airway, by the internet, whatever, whatever means they're screaming on this morning, God, that you would go in every home, God, that you would send peace in every home right now in the name of Jesus. As we lift you up according to your word, you said who, wherever we will lift you up, that we would, you would draw all men unto you today, God. And we ask you today to have your way in this place, God. In every home, God, we thank you for peace. We thank you for unity. We thank you for togetherness. We thank you for love. We thank you for a godly love this morning that covers a multitude of faults. Father, we thank you on this morning for the brand new mercies that were renewed on this morning. We ask you to come and sup with us just a little while this morning. We acknowledge that we we need your power this morning. We need your presence this morning. We can't do nothing until you come. Your word said that man should always pray, but we know not what to pray. So we ask that you would let the spirit of God fall afresh on us today and that you would have your way in this place today, God. We lift up Pastor Francis to you this morning. Pray that you would hide him behind the cross, God. That you would anoint him for your glory this morning, God. That every word will be articulated just the way that you gave it to him. We thank you for binding any satanic backlash or anything because of the life-changing word that he will deliver to your people today. God, we thank you on today. We lift up every family that is connected to New Direction today. We ask you to have your way in our lives, God, because you, God, are the omniscient one, and you are the omnipresent one, and we thank you, God. We plead Psalm 91 over every home, God. We thank you that no evil comes now our dwelling, God, but we thank you, God, for even knowing in Psalms 91 that you are our refuge and you are the safe place. You will protect us from all deadly disease, and you will protect us from every trap of the enemy, God. So we thank you today, God, that our peace, and you said it in your word that great shall be our peace, God. We thank you for your word that said, thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph and we have everything that we need that pertains to life and godliness. God, under the sound of my voice, everyone that is listening, God, you made us and you know all about us. According to the book, you know the number of hair strings that are on our head. So we ask you today, God, to make the crooked straight and the wrong right, God. We ask you to examine us, God, and when you find anything that's not like you, we ask you to root it up and pluck it out, God. Send complete deliverance to us, God. Everything that is not like you, God, we bind it in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, whatever we will bind on earth, you will bind it in heaven. Whatever we will loose on earth, you loose it in heaven. We, we bind confusion right now. In the name of Jesus, we bind all manner of disease, all manner of sickness, God. We bind all manner of hatred and bitterness and jealousy and envy and strife. And we lose the spirit of peace. We lose the spirit of love. We lose the spirit of joy. We lose the spirit of unity. We lose the spirit of peace on every home, God. Let us agree to disagree in love, God. As you have us in close quarantine, God, we cancel every assignment of the enemy. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I command you to loose your hoe. You don't have no power. You don't have no place in the lives of God's people. We are in his inheritance. We are raw priesthood. We are a holy nation. We are above only and not beneath. We are the lenders and not the borrower. We have everything that we need, everything that pertains to life and godliness. We are the chosen one. We thank you, God, that we are a peculiar people. We thank you, God, for your spirit falling afresh. We thank you, God, for filling us again with your Holy Spirit. 
give us ear to hear what the Spirit has to say and a mind to apply the Word to our life, God. We come against all shape, form, or fashion, but we come to worship you. We come against every religious doctrine, every religious way, God. We throw that out the window today. We ask you to have your way. Do what you want to do. Move how you want to move. Spirit of the living God, you have all power in your hand. You rule and super rule. You are the great I am. You are El Shaddai. You are Elohim. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Salon. You are the beginning and the end. You are the great I am. You are almighty battle axe. You are a bridge over troubled water. And we bless your name today. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise today. Have your way. Send fresh wind. Send fresh fire in every home. Let the angels encamp around all four walls of the house today. Have your way in every home. God, we speak crop failure on every negative seed that the enemy has planted. It will not work work. We cancel every assignment of the enemy in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 91, you will rescue us from every trap of the enemy. You will you will protect us from every deadly disease. We thank you that coronavirus does not come near our dwelling. We thank you, God. Oh, God, today we lift up every church door that stand open in your name. Every pastor, we lift them up to you now. In the name of Jesus, we bind trickery. We bind schemes. We bind tricks to get the people to be obedient. The Spirit of God, Holy Ghost, arrest them now. In the name of Jesus, catch them by the rings of their mind. Touch their hearts. Touch their spirit. David said, create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit. They may not be physically able to go into the house of worship, but know ye that your body is the temple of God. You said in your word, present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. We bind tradition in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, have your way. Fall afresh in the name of Jesus. Fall afresh. Root up and pluck out everything that's not like you. Break up the foul ground. Send deliverance to your people now, God. See your bitch in deliverance now, God. Oh, God, in the secret place. You are the God of the secret place. That thing that we can't tell nobody. But you, God, are omnipresent. You, God, are omniscious. You, God, are all-knowing. Do what you want to do. Move how you want to move. We stand on your word. All things working together for the good of them that love the Lord and are the call according to his purpose. We lift this country up to you. In the name of Jesus, have your way. Have your way. You said in your word, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I'll heal the land. We know you're able to heal the land. We know you're able. God, we're not insensitive. We're not insensitive. Every bereaved family, touch them now, God. Send peace. You are near to the broken heart. You are peace in the midst of the storm. Every family that has been affected by this 
virus. We ask you to hold them in the palm of your hand. We know you can. You said in your word, if you cast your cares up on me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We ask you today to be great peace for those that are heavy laden, those that are hurting. You are near to the broken hearted. I can't leave that alone. You are near to the broken hearted. You are near to the broken heart. Your word said, hope deferred, make the heart sick. Thank you for being a heart fixer. Thank you for being a mind regulator. We give you glory today. We give you honor and we give you praise. Touch the musicians now. Anoint them for your glory. Touch the prayer team, the praise team today. Anoint them for your glory. Everything be done according to your will and according to your way. And we'll tell your goodness everywhere we go. We give you glory today. We give you honor today. We give you praise today. Touch the, the essential workers uh, in the hospital. Uh, they're tired in their physical body. Uh, send supernatural strength right now. Don't let the doctors uh, misdiagnose. Uh, not one person. Uh, give them wisdom. Uh, crown their head uh, with wisdom. Uh, take away fatigue. Uh, take away restless. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you, God. Uh, we thank you today. Uh, we give you glory today. Uh, we give you honor uh, according to your word. Uh, if I be lifted uh, from the earth, uh, I'll draw uh, all men to unto me. Uh, we ask you to draw now uh, in the hospital. Uh, save and deliver. Uh, behind prison walls, uh, save and deliver. Uh, in the saint of Solomon, uh, give them a mind uh, according to your word. Uh, You've not given us uh, the spirit of fear, uh, but that of love, uh, power, uh, and a sound mind. Uh, we thank you. Uh, we want to give the devil notice. Uh, you are about to go out of business uh, if you run uh, the psychiatric ward. Because uh, we snatch the minds uh, back of God's people. Uh, they will be sane. Uh, they will be whole. Uh, they will be delivered uh, and set free. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you, God, uh, for what you've already done uh, and for what you're going to do. Uh, this is our prayer. Uh, we surrender to you. Uh, pray that you're granted uh, according to your will uh, and according to your way. Uh, come on, let the church say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, in your home today, uh, stand up on your feet uh, and tell God thank you. Uh, you may have never worshipped in your home, but today is a good day to start worshiping in your living room, in your bedroom, at the kitchen table, at the zinc. Give God glory. Lift your hands and give him prayer. We're going to turn your house into the sanctuary today. Lift your hands and give God praise. Lift your hands and tell him thank you. I know it seemed bad right now, but realize it could be a lot worse. Tell God thank you. If you're breathing, tell God thank you. If you can lift your hands, tell God thank you. If you can stomp your feet, tell God thank you. If you can open your mouth, tell God thank you. If you can see my face, tell God thank you. Stop taking God's goodness for granted. Stop taking God's goodness for granted. Y'all better get this mic. Because I'm feeling me yourself. You may not have what you want, but all God promised was to supply the need. Tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. Ah. Even if you can't walk, grab a hold to that walker and shake it a little bit. If you can't get out of the bed, you can't get out of the bed. 
grab a hold to the sheets and shake them a little bit. God inhabits the praises of his people. He inhabits the praises of his people. And according to the book that I read, it said praise is common for the upright. Hold on, Abosha. Hey, you may not be in the church, but the church is coming to your house today. Hey, give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. He not I got a word for you. God didn't forget about you. He didn't forget about you. You thought he forgot. He didn't forget. He said he calls all things to work together for the good. So he said he just didn't catch him by surprise. He is all knowing. He is all powerful. He did not forget about you. You thought he did. The devil tried to give you a pity party. Shake him off today. Shake him off. I bind all manner of suicide in the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I command you to take your hands off of now in the name of Jesus. She will not die, but she shall live and declare the works of the Lord. You will not. You will not cause him to commit suicide. You will not cause him to take all those pills and overdose. I bind you in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you today. You will not. You will not destroy that home. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Stay the hand of the enemy now, God. Cancel the assignment of the enemy. No. You will not walk away from your children. Stay there. And be the mother that God ordained that you be. No, this is not too hard. You can make it. You can take it. Because you're not in this thing alone. Huh. No, I'm not trying to minimize being a single mother raising three children. No, I'm not. But I'm telling you, my God is able. I'm telling you, I've seen him do it. Huh. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Get in your word. Huh. The word said he calls us to win. Spoiler alert, we win. We win. Y'all better get this mic because I feel the rivers of living water. Hot tub of course we win. Ha! Huh. Centuries, centuries, centuries. Mothers have been doing what they need to do to provide for their children. Pull out your sewing machine. Learn how to sew. Learn how to knit. Use that time to get in your word instead of sitting there mad about what you can't change. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I'm trying to quit, but I see in the spirit. Don't worry about it. Call mama and tell her you sorry. Repent to your mother because the words say, honor thy mother and father that your days be long upon the earth. Give up right for wrong for peace sake. That's still your mama. That's still your daddy. Whether he living right or not, it's still your daddy. You need to fix it today. Because that offense is not going to hurt them. Forgiveness is for you. It doesn't mean that they didn't do what you said they did. It doesn't mean it didn't happen the way you thought it happened. Just choose to forgive. Y'all better get this mic. Of the
this morning, all we want is you, Jesus. There's none like you in all the earth. Nobody, nowhere can do you like you, can do us like you can, Jesus. You are the author and finisher of our faith. You are the beginning and the end. Oh, God, there is nobody like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But without you, Jesus, we are nothing. We are like filthy rags, God. And we want to worship you, God. We want more of you, God. We want more of you, God. Hallelujah. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Everything else can wait.
Welcome you, welcome you to the New Direction Community Church. We are glad that you are streaming with us online today. However you are watching, by Facebook, by YouTube, any way that you are streaming with us, we thank God for you streaming with us today. And as we are welcoming you to our service, we want to express our love to you. New Direction is known as the church where we live to love. And this morning, we want to say I love you to each and every one that is streaming online, to our New D family, to our guests. We love you. And we want to give a few announcements at this time. As you are streaming with us online, you can continue to connect with New Direction by Facebook, YouTube, or through our website, www.newdcommunity.org. You can stay connected to New D every Monday morning. We have our Monday morning prayer call at 6 a.m., and we invite all of our members to continue to log in on our Monday morning prayer call and kick off your week with us in prayer. Every Wednesday and every Friday, we continue in our hot meals. We serve our hot meals in a drive through fashion. The, people can, the community can come, they can pick up their meal, and they can leave. And that is between the hours of 12 and 1. And we want to thank you, each and every one of you, for partnering with us weekly at Meet the Streets as we feed the community. Because of you, because of your giving, because of your dedication, we were able so far to feed 710 people this month. Amen. And we thank God for your partnership, and we ask that you continue to help support Meet the Streets so that we can continue to feed more. And we want to remind all of our members that our in-person services and, or, and events have all been postponed at this time. Until further notice, all in-service events and services have been postponed. We want to give a happy birthday shout out to each and every one of our new D family members that have celebrated a birthday in the month of April. We want to say happy birthday to you from your new direction church family. And we also want to remind you that 2020 is our year of vision. Our pastor has deemed it as the year that we see it. And no matter what is going on, no matter what the current circumstance is, we believe God that this is the year that we will see it. 
Amen. Come on, give God some praises right where you are in your living room. Come on, glorify him. Come on. The spirit of God is in your house. The spirit of God is in your room. Come on, put him into your atmosphere where a shift can take place. A shift can take place in your marriage. A shift can take place with your children. A shift can take place with your finance. Is there any believers? Hallelujah. 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 We're just so excited here. Amen. As God is blessing us. He's blessing us in this house. And I know that he's blessing you as well. I'm just so excited for what God is doing for you. Amen. What I want you to do, I want you, I know you're not here physically, but I want you to go ahead and check in. If you haven't did so already, go to the go to New Direction on Facebook and go ahead and check in and let everyone know that you're tuning in with New Direction. And also go ahead, go ahead and start a watch party. A watch party right where you are in worship. And let's get the word out for what God is doing here. Amen. In the ministry. We're just so grateful and thankful for what you are doing. Amen. Thankful for the gifts. Amen. Like First Lady said, we fed 710 people on this month. Amen. In our community. And we're just so, so excited about it for what God is doing in the lives of the community. Amen. As we going out. Amen. And serving. And I also want to say then, uh, also, if you want to give, because we have more people, more children showing up for our uh, for our midweek midweek feeding, Amen. So you can go to you can go to the Cash App and go dollar sign uh, M T Streets. I think I'm saying that right. M T Streets, and you can give on the Cash App, Amen. To be a poor, uh, be a blessing, Amen. To what we're doing here in the community, Amen. We're just so excited, Amen. It's offering time. It's offering time. It's offering time. The Bible said God loves a cheerful giver. It's offering time. Amen. It's time to give unto God for what he has already given unto us, how he's blessed us, the doors that he has opened, amen, for us in our lives. We're just so excited, amen, for what God is doing, amen, amen, for what God is doing in your life, what God is doing through this ministry, amen. We're just so excited, amen. This is the moment. I want to say like I say always, amen, amen. Offering time. God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. I want to let you know, if there been any grudge in your heart of giving on today, please don't give. This is the moment for cheerful givers. Amen. Put that screen on me. I want them to see me. Amen. I want you. I'm going to say that again. If there's any grudge in your heart of giving on today, please don't give. Please don't give. This moment is for cheerful givers only. Amen. Amen. I want to thank each and every one of you for giving on a weekly basis, whether you're giving millions, whether you're giving thousands. Hundreds, dollars, or pennies. I just want to thank you for your giving because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we're able to do here in this ministry, here in this community, here in Houston. So we're just so thankful, amen, for what God is doing for you in your life. Amen. Just so grateful. Amen. That's several ways you can give. You can go to the website to www.newdcommunity.org and give online. Also, also, you can go to the Cash app. That's uh, dollar sign New D for me. And you can give on the cash app. Amen. Amen. And also, also we have a, a new D app. You can download the new D app today. Amen. You can give on the new D app. Amen. Just so excited and so thankful. Amen. For what God is doing for you in your life. Amen. So what we're going to do, we're going to lift those gifts up and we're going to go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you right now. God, we bless you, God, for all that you have done. God, thank you for what you're about to do in our lives, God. God, we bless you, God. We thank you right now, God, for pouring out your spirit, God, of prosperity into our lives right now, God. God, of healing right now, God, over our bodies right now, God. Blessing us relationally right now, God. God, we thank you right now, God, for this seed that's sown into the good ground right now, God. God, we ask right now, God, that you were blessed like never before, God. God, have your way right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you. God, we worship you right now, God, for all that you are doing and for all that you have done right now, God. God, we thank you, God. God, we bless you right now, God. God, that you do what only you can do right now, God. In the presence of your people right now, God. In the lives of your people right now, God. God, that you will have your way right now, God, like never before. God, we ask right now, God, that you will bless 100 times what's sown on today, God. God, we thank you right now, God. God, what eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Lord, have they entered into the hearts of many the things that you have in store for us. God, we thank you and we bless you right now, God. Bless every giver on today. 
Bless those that have the desire but have not to give on today. God, they be able to give on next time. God, we bless you. God, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And every saint that believes, shout amen. 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 I want you to continue holding those gifts up. Cell phones, laptops, however you're giving and Repeat after me. Say, with this seed comes miracles. With this seed comes overflow. With this seed, I will be blessed to be a blessing to God's kingdom, to this ministry, to every nation. With this seed comes increase, pressed down, shaking together, and runneth over. Pressed down, shaking together, and runneth over. Pressed down, shaking together, and runneth over. In Jesus' name, come on, receive your gifts. Amen. God bless you. Just want to praise you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever for all you've done you've done for me for me blessings and glory blessings and glory and honor and honor they are Blessing me. Blessing me. I just want to praise you. I just want to praise you forever. Give them glory. Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's bless the Lord. Let's bless them. Let's bless them. Come on, bless the Lord, all my soul. Bless the Lord, all my soul. Bless the Lord, all my soul. Amen, amen. Bless the Lord. Just so grateful and thankful for you being with us on today. Amen. As you logged in online, amen. Whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on Facebook, we're just so thankful to have you join us here online today. God bless you. Amen. Right where you are, right where you are. I want you to go to your Bibles. I want to go to your Bibles to 1 Samuel, 30th chapter. 
First Samuel, 30th chapter. Hey Amen. I just want to today just want to be an encourage you an encouragement to you on today. Amen. Minister Terry has already blessed us. Amen. With encouragement through prayer. Amen. I want to continue. Amen. I want us to look at a particular scripture. Amen. That also also speaks on encouragement. Amen. First Samuel 30th chapter and the sixth verse. Amen. Amen. Just so thankful. Amen. And it reads like this. It says, now David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because the souls of all the people were grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. David was in great distress because his buddies, the people, his road dogs, talked about stoning him because of their grief of their sons and daughters. But the Bible says, this is my favorite part, the Bible says, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. See, it's one thing to encourage yourself but it's another thing to encourage yourself in the Lord. I want to use for a subject topic today. Don't get caught slipping. Don't get caught slipping. Let us pray. Father God, we bless you right now, God. God, we thank you right now, God, for the word on today right now, God. God, we speak fire into their lives right now, God. We speak motivation and encouragement into the lives of your people right now, God. God, we ask right now, God, that you will build them up where they're torn down and give them strength where they're weak. God, we bless you. God, we thank you, God. God, we thank you, God, for what you're about to do right now, God. God, we thank you for your word on today, God. God, that we will no longer get caught slipping, God. We're by the enemy right now, God. God, we bind the hands of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. God, and we thank you, God. We praise you and we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let everybody say amen. amen. Don't get caught slipping. Don't get caught slipping. The grass withers and the flowers fade away, but the word of our God shall stand forever. The word of our God shall stand forever. Don't get caught slipping. Ladies and gentlemen, don't get caught slipping. It's something I learned growing up in the hood. Which simply means don't get caught off guard. Keep your eyes open at all times. Keep your ears open at all times. Don't get lazy. Be careful. Huh. As soon growing up in the hood, see, as soon as I, because I came up in the hood in, a, in an environment that was, it, it wasn't the, the, the best and it wasn't the safe environment. See, I didn't come up in Pleasantville. I, I didn't come up like Leave It to Beaver. I, I, I didn't come up like the Brady Bunch. I, I, I was born and raised in the hood. And see, one thing about the hood, you have to be very, very careful. See, what happened, see, I was comfortable as long as I was at home, but as soon as I stepped outside the front door, I was on alert, paying attention to everything around me. I'm listening, and I'm hearing dogs barking, and, and I'm taking sounds, and I'm taking advantage of everything. All five of my senses is paying close attention with what's going on around me. I'm, I'm focusing on cars sitting on the side of the street. Cars passing in front of me and cars approaching me from behind. Whether I was at the bus stop waiting for the metro or I was at school walking down the hallway or even at the neighborhood park playing basketball or just leaving the corner store, I was always on guard because I didn't want to get caught slipping. I didn't want to get caught 
by surprise. I didn't want to get caught off guard. Is there anybody in this place know what I'm talking about? Have there been times in your life where the devil tried to catch you off guard? You thought everything was going right and then you was blindsided, just hit from the side. You wasn't paying attention. You wasn't focusing totally and you found yourself being blindsided and the devil caught you slipping. But here it is. This is what I love about the devil. See the devil, with devil, if you wanted to catch me slipping, you should have killed me when you did it. You should have took me out when you did it. Why? Because I learned from your schemes, devil. Is there anybody in this place know what I'm talking about? I don't make the same mistakes I used to. I don't do the same thing I used to do. I don't act like I used to act. Why? Because I refuse to be caught slipping. Huh? Look at your neighbor. Look at your screen and say, don't get caught slipping. Don't, don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. No, no, no. Don't get caught. Don't get caught slipping. Even, even when I meet someone, I always pay close attention to what they are saying. And not only what they're saying with their mouths, but what their eyes are saying. Which way their eyes are going when they're answering critical questions. My mom used to always say, boy, God gave you two ears and he gave you two eyes. But he gave you one mouth, which means you should listen twice as much as you open your mouth. Here is a quick lesson for the single ladies. For anybody that's single, here's a quick lesson. Because what I've learned is uh, oftentimes, see, single women or women, we, 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 we oftentimes we talk. We talk too much. Uh, we, 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 we talk a little bit too much. We want to share Everything. See, I'm trying to help you and trying to protect you from getting in another unhealthy relationship. On, see, see what happens when you go on a date, the first thing you do, you're just talking and you're talking and you're talking. So the first lesson is stop talking so much. Yeah. See, what happens oftentimes, see, we're talking so much, but you shouldn't be quiet because you're talking so much. In the first 30 minutes, you don't tell them everything about you. And then you go calling your girlfriend on the phone, talking about, ooh, I think he's the one girl. He, 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 he's my soulmate. He know everything about me, girl. He know everything about you because the first 30 seconds of the date, you told him everything. But settle down. Because you're thinking it's your soulmate, but basically they, they told you, they just repeated everything you told them you like. You say, I want a man with ambitions. You, I got it. He started making up stories. No, he ain't. No, he don't want to get no job. He, he going to make it up. Why? Because he's trying to get in the house. He's he trying to get. Look at somebody say, don't get caught slipping. Don't get caught slipping. That's why the divorce rate is at 60-something percent. Why? Because folks steady getting caught slipping. Don't get caught slipping. First time on me. Next time on you. Yeah. Huh. Look at somebody say, it's not going to happen again. Gonna happen. I will not get caught yeah. slipping. I will not get caught slipping. My brothers and sisters, I, I, I remember back in 2017. 2017, I was placed in hospitalized on August the 12th, 2017. 17. Never keep forget it was a Saturday. We was here getting ready to go on the church picnic, and I'm sweating, and, and, my, and my heart just going, everything. And I, I got admitted into the hospital. See, I thought it was just a, a little small, short appointment. I was just going to go get checked out, and I'm going to be back on the go. But they told me, no, we got to keep you here. Yeah. So that's the first thing. I've never been hospitalized in my entire life, yeah. and I was hospitalized. And in the midst of being hospitalized, the ministry was beginning to grow. And I'm like, God, why now? Why now did you allow this to happen? You know how we do it. When things don't go our way, we start questioning God. Is that like, God, why now? Why? Why now? Why did I lose the house right now? Why did I lose the car right? Why did they walk out on me? Why, why God? Why did I lose the job right, right now? Why? 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 And I, I was playing the why game. And, and, and what was so crazy about it? See, I was hospitalized on August 17th, 
I mean, sorry, August 12th, but here it is, August 26th. Hurricane Harvey, six right on Houston. Rain and, and the floods just pouring everywhere. And, and here I am at home. I'm hopeless. I'm weak in my body because I was diagnosed with thyroid dis dis disease. And, and, and I didn't have any energy. And I couldn't really do anything. And the flood waters are rising. And I was so weak, I couldn't even pick up a piece of furniture. I, I was just so weak in my body. And I began to question God and say, God, why now? Why why? Why now? Why, why? Why? Why now? Why now? And, and not only that, a few months later, then come September, I was diagnosed with, with, with a heart illness. I, I had a heart issue. My, my heart was, I had an irregular heartbeat. And, 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 and this just, this, 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 the matter just went from bad to worse. Look at somebody. That's times in your life when you don't think it can get no worse than this. And then it happened. And then it happened. Somebody say it happened. It happened. It happened. And what you have to understand, oftentimes in life, things just happen. It just happens. See, the storms come in your life. But what you have to understand about the storm, the storm brings trees. If it wasn't for the storm, there wouldn't be no trees. Uh, if it wasn't for the storm, the root wouldn't take deep root into the ground. Why? Because of the pushing, because of the wind and the shaking. The root say, I got to catch something. I, I got to get a hold to something. So the roots begin to go deeper because it got to go deeper so it won't come out root. Look at somebody say, it's okay by the storm. It's okay. Uh, and, and here... Here, I went on and went on. I was just, man, this is not the time. This is not the moment. Why did it happen right now? It could have happened last year, but it chose to happen right now. Yeah. And I, ain't gonna, I begin to become discouraged. Yeah, come on, come on. I become to say things that I'm embarrassed to talk about. Talk about it, yeah. I was up preaching, but I, yeah. I was struggling myself. I, I was struggling, but what you have to understand, see, I was reminded of the David story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, because although my wife loved me, I was trying to be strong for my wife, my family, and the ministry, yeah. but I was discouraged. Yeah. But what I understood about leadership, yeah. just like David in his leadership position, sometimes you have to encourage yourself. I'm not going to wait for you to encourage me. I'm not going to wait for the preacher to encourage me. you got to encourage yourself. The book can't encourage you. you got to encourage yourself. I'm not talking about the book. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the, the self-motivating books. The self-motivating books is not going to get you what you need. But I tell you, if you encourage yourself in the Lord... I, I know that's about 10 people that say I'm about to encourage myself in the Lord. I, I've been tripping. I've been messed up. I've been tied up. I've been tangled up. But this is my moment of my encouragement. I, I'm not going to wait on my boo to encourage me. I, I got to do this for myself. I got to make a move for myself. I got to step up for myself. I got to get myself together. I got to get my mind right. I got to get my heart right. Is there anybody out there that declared the day that today is the last day? Did I say my last here? Yesterday. I said my last here. This morning. I said my last here. Say yes. Well, what I have to say is I'm thankful for that experience yeah, come on. because that experience made me better. Because before then, I didn't know God as a healer yeah. because I never needed him to heal me from something. Yeah. I knew him as a provider, but not as a healer. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my relationship changed. Yeah. My relationship got better. Yeah. Now I'm able to make decisions that I would never make. Why? Because if God did it for me then, he'll do it for me right now. I'm not scared. Why? And I will you never get me caught slipping. I, I dare you to talk to your devil and say, devil, I will never get caught slipping again. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. My slipping days are over. Yeah. My slipping days are over. 
that every, the next time you catch me slipping, it's going to be you slipping off of me. Why? Because I got oil on me. And if you try to grip me, you're going to slip off. Slip off, devil. Slip off, devil. You can't handle me because I'm oily. You can't handle me because I am anointed. You can't handle me because I am filled with the Holy Ghost. Say yes. Huh. Walk around your living room and say, I got the oil, I got the oil. I got the oil, I got the oil. I got the oil, I got the oil. The oil is keeping me right. The oil is keeping me right. It's keeping me slippery from the enemy. I'm slippery. Uh, uh, I'm slippery. I'm slippery now, devil. Grip on me, but you can't hold me no more. Ain't no change on me. From now on, I am free. And what the sun set free, it isn't free indeed. I dare you to take five seconds and give your God a crazy praise. Give him a free praise. I'm praising your God because I am free. <laughs> I'm putting my hands together. Because I'm free, I'm stomping my feet. Because I'm free, I'm shouting for joy. Because I'm free, I lift my hand. Because I'm free, no chains holding me. From this day forward, I am free. Say it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm free. I'm free. I got the all on me. I got the all on me. You can't catch me, devil. You can't grab me, devil, because I got the oil. Ah, I got the oil on me. And when you look at the text today, see, what them brothers didn't understand is David had the oil on him. Why? Because the Bible said in Samuel that Samuel came and he tried to anoint the, the brothers with the oil and the blood, when the, the oil wouldn't flow on any one of them until David stepped under. <laughs> when David stepped in, the oil began to flow. And when the oil flowed, David said, I'm slippery. The devil can't have me. Saul tried to throw her rods at me. He tried to throw a spear at me, but I slipped out of the room. I slipped out of the room. A giant in the valley was making fun of my God, but what he didn't know is I was slippery. I was. Look at your screen and say the oil still works. If it works for David, it'll work for me. I need you to repeat this. Say, if it worked for David, it'll work for me. If it worked for David, it'll work for me. Hallelujah. 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 Don't get caught slipping. Oh, boy, these brothers thought they had it all together. They... They was upset. See, let me give you some background of this. Come on, come on. Just, 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 just relax a little bit. I know I got a little excited, but just, just relax. Just relax. Here it is. Here it is. In the text today, David is facing a major issue. Huh? Because David is coming back from war that he was rejected from. He, he was supposed to be going to war against the people that he's getting ready to become king over. Don't get upset about rejections. Come on, talk to they rejected you, yeah. but God has something better for you. Yes. See, the rejection was in God's plan. Yes. Stop tripping with folks rejecting you because you didn't get that loan. Yeah. It's in God's plan. 
Why? Because God has something better in store for you. You see, David was in the land. He was in the land of the, of, of, of the, of the Philistines. And, and he was in this land. And see, he was living in a place called Ziglag. But what I want you to understand is don't get caught up in temporary situations and acting like it's permanent. God said you're going to be king over all of Israel. He said you're not, you don't have to settle for Zeglag when you're going to be king. <laughs> oh, oh. You must understand right now that I'm a daughter and I'm a son of the most high. Because I'm a daughter and the son of a king, that make me a prince or a princess. <laughs> You don't have to walk around like you devalue. Stop devaluing yourself and stop letting others devalue you. Why? Because I am a daughter of a king. I am his little princess. I'm God's little prince. That's, that's why I don't trip about nothing. Why? Because I know who my God is. Oh, he got everything in the palm of his hand. I'm talking the king of kings and the lords of lords. Whatever. 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 The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. I shall not want. I dare you. I want you to stop tripping about the things you think you need. Because you think it's a want, but it's a need. It's not what you need. It's what you want. Don't get confused the wants with the needs. See, so you're praying. You're praying for wants. You're praying for needs thinking it's a want. Don't get caught slipping. Don't get caught slipping. And here's David. David is facing the major situation. He's, he's arriving home to Ziglag, his temporary home. His, his what I like to call his rent house. Rent house. His, 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 his temporary trap. So he's there and, and see, so he arrived home and, and, and on his way home he arrived and then he see and the whole entire city of Ziglag is on fire. Ah. Ooh, 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 I can only, I can only imagine, I can only imagine what David may be feeling like. Oh, look at somebody say it rains and pours. Eh? Because first he get rejected, and then he get home, and his home is on fire. Not only was his home on fire, but his children, his daughters, his son, his wife were all held captive by the Amalekites. Pull them away from their home. And now yeah. David come to the scene and yeah. his boys that he was fighting with. Come on, right there, right there. Ah. His boys that he was fighting with uh -huh. is now wanting to fight. It's one thing when you got people on your corner. But it's another thing when you all by yourself. Come on, come on. He lost his house. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. He lost his family. And then he was about to lose his boys. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Ah! See, the devil thought he can get them slipping, but David said, you won't catch me slipping today, devil. Yeah. Because the Bible said David knew exactly what to do. Yeah. Give me my first point, distress. Yeah. Distress. We have to be understanding when a lot of times in life we will be distressed. We will be. We, we will have to suffer from anxiety. We will have to suffer from pain and sorrow. But what I want you to understand is that nothing but an emotion. Emotion. A personal emotion. See, the Bible said that David was in great distress. He was dealing with emotions. He was dealing an emotional roller coaster. So here it is. He, he's in great distress. Everything he ever known is gone. The boys that he's rolling with is gone. Their mind is all messed up. And I want you to look at this, this text as we go to our, our second point. It, it, it says here, it says, and David was great distress for, here it is, for the people spoke of stoning him. Give me my division. Division. They spoke of stoning him. There was a great division in his 
house. There was a great division in his family. The family that he had left, the buddies that he had left, is now turning their backs against him. Not only was he in great distress, but now they're talking about stoning, stoning him. Isn't it funny how when you're doing good, as long as you're doing good with people, oh, they high-fiving you, they want to be in your life, but oh, boy, as soon as you come on hard time, as soon as one mistake happens, they begin to turn their back on you. What you have to understand, let me, let, me, let, me, let me help you understand this. See, David, all his boys, all his men, all 600, 600 of them, it started off with 300, and 300 of them, they were refugees. They were, they were the least of the least. They were the misfits. They all come running to David. Re- David running from Saul, and they all come running to David, and David took them in with open arms. And see, you want to come to me when I'm up. But you want to turn your back on me on. when I'm down. The Bible say David was in great distress. The Bible have a spoke of great distress prior to this point. Now he's in great distress, and now everybody want to start tripping. Yeah, help us. Why you can't love me when I'm broke? You only love me when I got something to give you, but now I don't have much. Now I got laid off because of COVID-19, and now you don't want to talk no more. But you know what? After all of this is over, bye-bye. Let the Lord bless you real good. I won't get caught slipping again. You messed over me once, but it won't happen again. You walked out of my life, but it won't happen again. You turned your back on me, but it won't happen again. No, not one. No, not one. Never again. Shout Never again. Hallelujah. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Oh, you're in my life, but now you want to be flaky. Now you want to be flaky. The wind just blew you away. You, you said you was my road dog, Peter. You said, I would die with you, but you, yeah. you, you designed me on the same night three times. You, yeah. you say you was my boy, Judas. Yeah. Man, I put you over the treasury. You, you were taking care of the money. You, uh-huh. you were taking over the money, and you traded me for money. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, all right. I got you. I got you. Uh-huh. Thomas, Thomas, what's up? Come on, come on. Yeah. What's up, Thomas? What's up, twin? What's up, Twin Thomas? Why you doubting? Why you, yeah. why you doubting? Come on. Why you doubting? Why you doubting? Oh, when I'm up, you're with me. Yeah. But when I'm down, yeah. oh, I'm by myself. I'm, yeah, I'm by myself. And David found himself by himself, by him, yeah. this lonesome. He was, yeah. he was on his own. And what you have to understand, when it seems like you're on your own, ah, you're not on your own. Yeah. Because yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you may feel no evil because he's rolling. Mm. I don't know who I'm helping on today. You thought you was alone. You thought the devil, you thought God had walked out of your life. You thought because nothing is happening right now that God is not going to do nothing. That, that God don't love you no more. That God don't appreciate you no more. That God don't understand you no more. But I want to let you know that God still understand. You must understand that this season is your zigzag moment. You just having a zigzag moment. I want you to encourage yourself in your zigzag moment. Right now, I'm in zigzag, but I'm about to become a king of all of Israel. Look at somebody and say, God got something better in store for me. That's better. That's better in store. That's better in store for me. Oh, the vision, the vision. See what God is doing in this season, in this COVID-19 season. He's separating you from folk. See, there was people in your life. I want you to hear me. There was people in your life that talked about you. There was people in your life that's walked out on you. But here, now that you're in a tough state in your life, God is separating 
God is separating the weed from the tail. He's standing apart. And you tripping because your girl is not cool with you no more. But God is saying this is the season for you to open your eyes and understand who's for you and who's against you. Who's with you and who's without you. Why? Because this next season in your life, you got to know who's really rolling with you. Why? Because God is taking you higher. And because he's taking you higher, you can't get caught up in people that's going to hold you down. God say that devil, they've been holding you down. They've been holding you down. But God say, I'm trying to release them off of you. You thought they were your friend. But God say, they just slipping, they slipping. They slipping, they slipping. That relationship you thought was the best thing is just slipping, it's slipping. It's slipping, 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 it's slipping. You calling it division. But God said, Well, you trying to figure it out. Ah, God said, He already worked it out. Why are you tripping? Because they don't talk to you no more. God said, I'm trying to work this thing out. They don't call you no more. God said, I'm trying to work this thing out. They laid you off. God said, I'm tr- God said, I'm trying to work this thing out. God said, what you had was a job. He's trying to give you a career. God said, he's trying to change your life. God said, he didn't want you to stay the same. God said, the next level, the next level, that got to be division. Hallelujah. Somebody shout division. Oh, I'm dividing. I'm dividing myself. I'm dividing myself. I'm dividing myself away from some folks. I'm dividing myself away from some people. I'm dividing myself away from drugs. I'm dividing myself away from alcohol. I'm dividing myself from the club. Ah. See, you tripping because the club closed down. And God trying to put you in an environment for you to be separated. Ah. Oh, you, you can't go party like you used to. You can't party like a rock star because God is trying to step. Separate. Our brothers and sisters, that's great things in separation. That's great things in separation because Jesus, when he was on the cross, they took his hands and they separated. They separated. Oh, my brothers. I want to tell you something about separation. See, separations look like a sacrifice. Oh, it may be a sacrifice. Oh, but when I come out on the end, three days later, three days later, devil, you think you got me, but give me three days. Devil, you think you got me now, but just give me three days. Three days. Jesus did it in three days. They were tripping. They didn't think. Jesus said, I can tear the temper down and it raised back again. They're like, how can you do this? Man, it took them years to do this. How can you do this in three days? He said, because I am the chief corner. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Separation. Separation. I know you're dealing with separation anxiety right now. Oh, but what I want you to do is encourage yourself in the Lord. Lord. I want you to encourage yourself in the Lord. Here it is. My third point Uh is divine. Uh, Divine. You know how I do it. I like to to keep the words the same. Today we're dealing with three Ds. We're dealing with distress, division, and divine. So here, here David, here, uh-huh. here David, he, his boys talk, spoke on stoning him. Uh-huh. And I want to put a pen right there because I want you to understand. See, the Bible said they spoke. They spoke on stoning him. They didn't do it. They spoke on stoning him. See, oftentimes we're being defeated with words. The only thing the devil can give you is lip service. 
He has no power to make a move. All he can do is give you lip service. And oftentimes we've been discouraged off of lip service. God is telling you to, 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 to fill out for that application and you get lip service from the enemy. Telling you you're not qualified. Tell, telling you, you you don't have enough degrees. Telling you that they way more qualified than you are. Let the enemy mess with your head that, that you're not light enough. That you don't talk well enough. That, that you didn't go to the right school. That you don't have the right DNA. The devil is a lie. I have the DNA of the blood. I, <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You don't know what the DNA I got. Ooh. I'm covered. My the D the D in the A means divine. My DNA starts with divine. <laughs> I got divine DNA. Here, let me let me calm. Let me. Here, 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 here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I need, I need a roller. Hear this. Hear this. Divine. Divine between you and God. Oh, divine. David encouraged himself in the Lord. They thought about, they, they talked about stoning him. But he encouraged himself yes, in the Lord. See, like oftentimes we can't get caught up in words. Come on, come on. We can't get caught up in what the enemy is saying. Uh -huh. Because the enemy just do a lot of talk. Yeah. If you don't believe me, let's go back to the Garden of Eden. See, the serpent, all he can do is talk. He couldn't make them do nothing. Yeah. All he can do is come on, talk. Come on. Yeah. He talked them into it. See, the devil got a mouth, but that's all he got. Yeah. He got mouth, but you got dominion. Yeah. He got a mouth, but you got power. Yeah. He, got, he got a mouth, but you got everything else. Yeah. Don't get caught slipping. Yeah. I, don't get caught slipping. I, I destroy the power of every demonic arrest yeah. over your life. In Jesus' name. All satanic agents release you in Jesus' name. I command every spirit contaminating your life that you will receive cleanliness in Jesus' name. Lord, teach me to die in self in Jesus' name. I command every hole of a spiritual pipeline be sealed right now in Jesus' name. Lord, ignite me with your fire. Ignite me with your blood. Ignite me with all you have. I will no longer lose my calling. In Jesus' name, I will take my rightful place. In Jesus' name, I will call myself everything that he want me to be. In Jesus' name, I will be above and not beneath. In Jesus' name, I declare myself victorious. In Jesus' name, I will walk for nothing. In Jesus' name, I won't get caught slipping. In Jesus' name, I bind slipping into distress. I bind slipping into depression. I bind slipping into defeat. I bind slipping into worry. I bind slipping into anxiety. I bind slipping into sickness. I bind slipping into fear. I bind slipping into anxiety. I design slipping into brokenness. I bind slipping into sorrow. I won't get caught slipping no more. My slipping day is over. My slipping day is over. Greater is he that is in me. Greater that is he that is in me. I said greater. 
Filha, tá dentro de mim. Oh, give your daughter some freedom and say, I want to get caught slipping up. I want to get caught by surprise. I want to get caught off guard. Where were you all? Give them a 15 second. Give them a 15 second. Give them a 15 second. Uh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. You better praise them. You better praise them. You better praise them. Five seconds. You better praise them. You better praise them. Three seconds. You better praise them. I will bless them. The Lord at all times, and this praise shall continually be in my mouth. Uh, his praises shall continually be in my mouth. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Listen to me. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. His praises shall continuously be in your mouth. Here I go, 10 pages again. His praises shall continually be in your mouth. Because what you have to understand, the season that you're about to go into... You can't worry about they know what they saying. Because what's coming out the enemy's mouth don't mean nothing. You done spent too many years letting the enemy define who you are. God never told you you'd never be nothing. That was the devil. God never told you you're going to be just like your no good daddy. That was the devil. God never told you you're going to be scoring out on drugs and alcohol like your daddy. That was the devil. Don't allow people to define who you are. You have to come to a place in your life where you're going to encourage yourself. Because scripture said that you're beautifully and wonderfully, wonderfully made. The book of Genesis, it also talks about, it talks about us and say God created us in his image. Yes, he did. Are you listening to me? God created us in his own image and his likeness. God created you in his own image and in his own likeness. I'm going to say that again for your devil. God created you in his image, yes, yes. and in his own yes. likeness. My brothers and sisters, I want you to declare with me today uh, that I will not go another day and get caught slipping. Yeah. The only one going to be slipping is the devil. Yeah. It's because he's going to be slipping off of me. Yeah. The only way you're going to catch me slipping is you slipping off. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Not another day. Not another moment. Your days are over, devil. Your days are over. Come on, give God some praises right where you are. I'm done. I'm done. There may be someone out there that you, if you was to die on today, do you know where you would spend the rest of your life? Do you know what eternity holds for you? Do you know whether you are enter into heaven or whether if you open your eyes in hell? I plead with you today to give him your life. I plead with you today to give him your heart. The worst mistake you can make in your life today is die without Jesus. Jesus said in John 10 and 9, he said, I am the gate. Those who come through me will be saved. 
In John 14 and 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Not having Jesus in your life can be the biggest mistake you will ever make. Let me say that the right way. Not having Jesus in your life is the worst mistake you could ever make. Give him your life on today. Romans 10 and 9, it says, If you openly declare Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and believe in your heart that he was risen from the dead, that you shall be saved. What I want you to do right where you are, right where you are, it doesn't matter what you did on last night. It doesn't matter what you did before tuning in. It doesn't matter if you're high right now, if you're drunk right now. It doesn't matter if you're sleeping in the bed right now. It doesn't matter what you're doing right now. If you throw your hands up and surrender and say, here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Take me just as I am. Take me filthy and dirty. Take me unclean. Take me messed up. Take me as a liar. Take me as a, as a, ah, take me. Take me right where I am, Lord. Take me, God. Take me, God. I give myself to you, God. Just lift those hands right where you are. And I want you to just honor him. And, and just feel his spirit coming over you right now. And I want you to repeat this prayer after me. The prayer of salvation. The Bible says if you confess them with your mouth and believe in your heart that you are saved. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, dear Jesus, I believe that you are the son of God. That you died for my sins on the cross and rose again as it is written in the Bible. For I am a sinner in need of a Savior. Forgive me all my sins. Come into my heart. Take charge of my life. Make me the person you want me to be. Cleanse my heart with your precious blood. Write my name in your Lamb's book of life. I confess to you now, my Lord and Savior, fill me with your Holy Spirit. I believe in Jesus' name. Come on, put those hands together. And I just want you to praise them where you are. If you praise that prayer today, that you are saved. Hallelujah. I give myself away.
Christ. Come on. My life is not I want you to do. If on today you decide to give your life to Christ, I want you to write where you are, write where you are. I just want you to leave in the comments, amen, that you dedicated your life to Christ on today. And what we're going to be looking and we're going to be viewing, amen, looking for you, amen. We want to get some information on to you for your next step, amen. God bless you. We thank each and every one of you for joining us all through social media, amen, amen. Whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, Thank you for tuning in to us on today. God bless you. We love you. Love each and every one of you. Also, also after all this the pandemic is over with, after all this is over with, I would love, I would love for you to join us here in New Direction. Amen. And worship with us here. Amen. We are 3301 Brewster Street, Houston, Texas, in the downtown area. Amen. I want you to come by and join us. Amen. One Sunday. Amen. Service begin at 10 a.m. Amen. God bless you. We love each and every one of you. Right where you are in your living room, right where you are in your car, wherever you're listening or watching. I just want to pray over you. Father God, we bless you right now, God. God, we thank you, God, for who you are, God, what you have done, God. God, we thank you for your word on today, God. God, we ask right now, God, you will bless us right now, God, like never before. God, have your way right now, God, over our lives right now, God. God, we speak increase right now, God. God, we ask right now, God, that we will no longer right now, God, 
get caught by surprise right now, God. God, the enemy will no longer catch us slipping right now, God, in the name of Jesus. We bind his hand right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And we thank you right now, God, for all that you have done, God, all that you will do, all that you are doing right now, God. We ask right now, God, that you will touch your people right now, God. All through social media right now, God, that you will touch their lives right now, God. God, we speak Psalms, Psalms, Psalms 91 over their lives, God, that no evil come now they're dwelling right now, God. God, that their house will be protected right now, God. Their families will be protected right now, God. Children will be protected right now, God. God, from the COVID-19 right now, God, that you will keep them covered in the name of Jesus right now, God. God, that you will cover every door right now, God, every window right now, God, every AC vent right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you will protect them right now, God. God, everything they come in contact with right now, God. God, will repel right now, God, the, the virus right now, God. We thank you, God, and we bless you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will have your way right now, God. God, we ask right now, God, till we meet again right now, God, that your blessings, God, will fall upon each and every one of them right now, God. God, with their hands lifted right now, God, in their living rooms, in their households, God. God, that you will touch them right now, God, like never before. God, we bless you. God, we thank you right now, God. In Jesus' name right now, we pray. And everybody say amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Bless you. We love you. Thank you for tuning in with us online. God bless you. We love you. Amen.